Hello, everyone. My name is Mei Hua Xu. I'm from Chen'an University of Pharmacy and Science in Tainan, Taiwan. The topic I want to talk about today is English teaching, experimental education, and STEAM. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. Before my, st before my talk, I want to talk about my outlines. There are five parts in this presentation. The first one is the motivation, then followed by uh, research focuses, then I will talk about my methodology, then is the finding of the study, the part is my conclusion. Now let's start my presentation. The first part I want to talk about is my motivation. Uh, the first reason that I conducted this study was that Taiwan is an EFL environment, English for foreign language. So many students have few chances to pray in, practice English after they leave in the classroom. Last, many students lack of learning motivations and they learned English passively. The second one, the second one is English textbook in Taiwan should be published under under the rules of Ministry of Ta of Education in Taiwan, and that makes these books similar. Moreover, because of the presumption of students' English level, these books always emphasizing the simple words and limited sentences. Therefore. The achievement of young students' English learning is lower than its educators expected. Based on the reality of Taiwan's English teaching and learning, I designed a new teaching method to help young Taiwanese English learner, learners. First of all, according to the ideas, idea of ESP, English for Special Purposes, I believe STEAM can provide provide young students with unusual words and sentences. Then, based on the philosophy of learning my doing, experimental education will make young students use learned English in the learning process, and then they have the chance to practice, practice the English they learned. As a result, English teaching integrated with STEAM and experimental education might help young students with better learning outcomes and motivation. However, in the research process, the researcher found that college students' lesson training and teaching changed. Like their teaching, their planning and teaching were improved than they, they have done before. Moreover, because of the study was applied in a cram school classroom, so not many young students participate in this study. The collected data were not enough for original data analysis. Therefore, the focus of this study shifted from young students learning to college students teaching. Then I will talk about the research focuses. Before the data analysis, the research focus on for, uh, focuses of this study were the first one is young students' learning outcomes after they got the English teaching integrated with STEAM and experimental education. The second one is the change in young students' learning motivation after they involved in this unusual English teaching. However, at the end of this study, the focus changed to the differences between these college students' learning lesson planning and teaching. Now let's talk about my methodology. In methodology part, I will talk uh, the first one I want to talk about is the participant. In this study, the participant were four senior college students who aim to be English teachers, and each of them took responsibility for one subject, as you can see in this table. 
The science teaching is is taught by joy. The Anna is in charge of the technology instruction. We are told the engineering part. Joyce in charge of the mathematics part. And in the arts instruction, these four participants were cooperated to complete the teaching task. Then the third part, I will talk about the task book. This, this is the task book in this study. Book three was the assigned task book. College students chose one unit in book three to be the topic of their lesson planning and teaching. The, the next part is the procedures. At the beginning of the study, the four college students were asked to print a 14-minute lesson based on the assigned textbook. After that, these participants received a 10-hour training about STEAM and experimental education. In these training courses, college students were taught how to integrate the STEAM and experimental education to, into their English teaching. Then, they, they use the same textbook and print another 14-minute lesson. Finally, they conduct their, their, their second lesson plan in a crime school classroom. And there were eight students in the class. The teaching was tape recorded. Lesson plans and teaching videos were analyzed at the end of the study. Now, let's talk about the findings of this study. First, in the technology instruction, besides the required vocabulary, the college student taught new words related to young students' computer usage. That is, young students were asked to use PPT for a short talk, so they have learned how to make the PPTs for their short talk. In the lesson planning and teaching, college student Anna taught the vocabulary in the textbook. They were listed here and, and they were called required words. Meanwhile, the words must be used in computer usage were also taught. You can see it here, related words, such as the, such as search, download, add title, safe and so on. So you can find more words or teaching in the technology instruction. Secondly, in the engineering instruction, the college students teaching was totally different from the textbook because of the hands-on experience that young students had in class. In the assigned textbook, the required words and sentences were listed here. We can see it bigger, smaller, faster, slower. Is A, is A bigger, smaller, faster, slower than B? So they related to the comparison. But after integrated with STEAM and experimental education, college students will choose the topic reaction, uh, action and reaction to help young students understand a physics concepts and meta comparison. The hands-on experiment in this, in this lesson was to make a robotic car by Lego blocks. And, and this car can be, a, can, be, can be an evidence of action and reaction. So you can see the words Lego, blocks, balloon, robot here. And the, sentence is, and the sentence is, big balloon has more reaction. So, let it, so we can find that the, the teaching, the words and the sentences the college student taught is totally different with the words and sentences in, uh, in young students' textbook. Finally, 
we can we can see that in the mathematics instruction, the college student added some new sentences that are rarely seen in Taiwan Taiwanese children's regular English education. The topic of math teaching was shapes, so the required words were triangle, rectangle, and so on. And the sentences were listed here. You can see that how many something do you see? What do you see in this picture? I see three triangles, such like that. How, however, for the sake of teaching and learning, college students Joyce add some important but rarely seen sentences into her teaching. For example, you can see that three angles, three edges, and three verticals make a triangle. Angles are made by two straight lines. Two plus two equals four. These three sentences is rarely seen in Taiwanese children's regular English education. So it's the big differences. After the findings, there are some conclusions I had made. The conclusion of the of this study were first the new pedagogy, its English teaching integrated with STEAM and experimental education might change the English teachers teaching in Taiwan, especially the especially the pre-service ones. So, if the English teacher could in, could receive the training before they became a teacher. Educators and parents could expect a new English teaching in the future. The second conclusion was the research should be revised and reapplied because of the unexpected result in this time. That means we should have a complete and well-designed plan to confirm the result of this study. And then we have the confidence to use the the new teaching method in our in Taiwanese Taiwan's English education. Also, the influence of the designed English teaching on young students should be also investigated, because no matter what teaching method we use in classroom, young students' learning outcomes and motivations are the course of English learning and teaching. Therefore, we have to know what benefits the teaching method will give to young students. Young students, then we can use it in our classroom. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.